Hey, welcome back to day three of my five days of DIY last minute gifts. Um, this one's gonna be a little different. Um, I'm, instead of doing a build video, I'm gonna be doing a, a design tutorial on how you can, using Adobe Illustrator, make a ugly sweater design. Um, I know that it's a little close to Christmas and you're probably not gonna be able to get a shirt screen printed of this, um, but you could always print this out at home and give it to someone as a Christmas card, or you could even take it to your local print shop and have them print a poster of it um, so you could design something for a friend that, that relates to them and, um, and, and frame it and give them a nice gift. Um, so first thing we're gonna do is jump into Illustrator. And I already have a couple elements that I've designed for this postcard. Um, I'm gonna be using my Thick Lines hops design and do a, a kind of a beer, my Hoppy Holidays theme. If you, ha if you don't have elements for your design, um, there are two great places you can go online. Um, we have flaticon.com. This has, this has a lot of really great vector designs for you to use. Um, or you could also go to a place like freepick.com and, and search for Christmas designs as well. Or any other theme that you're looking for, um, you know, that relates to whoever you're giving this to. Um, and so let's go ahead and get started doing our layout. And I'm gonna select this box now. Go to Object, Path, and Offset Path. Get preview here, we can kind of see um, giving us a border around the page. And that looks pretty good. Now we can select this inside one that it offset and change the stroke. Make it a little thicker and then put that, align the stroke to the inside. And now that we have that, we're gonna wanna lay out our elements. So I have my Hoppy Holidays and a pint glass with beer in it. And a nice trick if you're trying to um, evenly distribute these objects, you can select all of them and then choose horizontal distribute center and it will automatically space them evenly apart. Uh, next thing I'm gonna do is bring in my hops, put that in there in the center and bring these reindeer in to be kind of jumping out, out of the page, horizontal aligned center and get everything all centered in line. Now finalize where I want these to go. Okay, and you could be done there and that would be a great Christmas card um, or poster for somebody. Um, but I'm gonna take it one step further and use one of my favorite plugins for uh, Adobe Illustrator. Um, it's by Astute Graphics and it is called Phantasm. Uh, it's about $73, which is a little pricey, um, but once you see the power of this program, uh, it's, it's definitely worth the time savings that, that you get from something like this. Um, I did show this in a previous design video uh, as well, but it's one of my favorite plugins. Um, if you don't want to pay for it, they do have a 14-day free trial. You can give it a try. Uh, okay, let's go back to Illustrator. So I have my Hoppy, ho Hoppy Holidays design ready. And the question is, did I just open a beer or a LaCroix? Okay, so now we are gonna select all of our artwork, um, not the background, um, just the elements that we wanna turn into that ugly sweater effect. So we're gonna select all, go to Effect, Phantasm, and then Halftone. This is gonna give you the default settings, which um, right now you don't see anything um, because it will only pull the darker colors. And since we had white on all those, it, it, it the halftone of white is nothing. So we wanna make a few quick adjustments. Um, first, we're gonna go from monochrome to sampled. And this is gonna pull the colors from the artwork. Um, and still we're not getting a lot because we have this very light uh, off-white color that we used. And so for that, we wanna adjust the dot gain and just go full all the way up, input to, Output 99, and now we start seeing uh, that that off-white color. And the next thing we want to do is, by default, it gives us circle halftones, but we want to have that 
kind of sweater knit effect. So we want to go from shape circle to character. And go to options. And it's going to default to just the alphabet, but we want to change that to um, a carrot. And we should change the font from the default one to something that's a little bit more appropriate for it. Um, I'm going to be using a rounded font. And hit OK. And now we're kind of getting something that we that looks like the uh, Christmas sweater effect. Let me zoom in here and you can kind of see what I mean. So we have those little sweater stitched effect. And right now I think that looks pretty good, but we can tweak things a little more. If we go back over here to appearance and click Phantasm Halftone. And if you have a lot of elements, this does run a little slow. So if you have a slower computer, um, you're just gonna have to bear with it a little bit. So the DPI is where we can adjust how many of those little carrots will actually show up. So we'll put in 25 and you can see um, the resolution is gonna be a lot finer. Now that it's a lot finer, you can see the details better. Um, and it, it's more of a very tight knit sweater, um, but that's not really the effect that I'm trying to get right now. So I'm actually gonna lower the DPI to 12 and it's going to give us that much bigger chunky knit effect. Um, so now we're just going to hit OK. And there you go. If you don't like any th way things are coming out, if you don't like the colors, you can easily select an element and change this color. Obviously you wouldn't have blue beer, but um, just shows you how you can edit those after the fact. Um, say we want to make that Hoppy Holidays yellow, there it comes out a little, little brighter. So that is the quick and easy way to do an ugly Christmas sweater uh, design. Um, the stitching effect isn't baked in yet, so you can uh, select the element that you want, go to Object, Expand Appearance, and it will actually create um, points for every single individual uh, stitch mark. So you can go here individually and change the colors of any one you want. Um, it will increase the file size, um, but if you were to send this artwork to, say, a screen printer, um, they would not have to have that plugin to open this file if you had expanded that appearance. I uh, hope you learned something. And today is my birthday, so if you want to get me a present, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm going to have uh, two more videos coming out in the next two days for uh, last minute DIY projects. They're both going to be ornaments um, done in two different styles. So um, stay tuned, and we'll see you later. Okay, bye.